Welcome, Wizards and Warriors, to Nala Talk. This talk, we have a whopping nine changes, two of which being complete reworks, and a very nice three new cards just for you. But stay tuned, because at the end of this video, we're going to be talking about the hundredth card coming to Nala. To start off this Nala Talk, Friendly Fire is coming to the game. This means you could use your Jack in the Box and hit your own teammate. For instance, that would deal zero damage to the Cactus, but the Cactus's ability would make it so your Jack in the Box takes damage, therefore, you could roll the dice to increase your damage. In a scenario like this, where you have Zombies Bite, and your opponent obviously isn't going to hit it, you yourself can hit the Zombie Bite with your own cards. This would also heal Dracula, because they heal when they deal damage, and this would heal the Cuckoo Clock, because it has the Zombies Bite on it. This also includes any cards that are classed as your teammate. For instance, Puppet Master, you are now able to hit any cards that you are controlling, leading you to be able to kill them, even though you're controlling them. First up, Lucky Clover. Now it says, after any RNG elements have been decided, you can choose to have them retaken once per turn again. But this now means, on your opponent's turn, anything they roll, you can choose for them to redo it. This also includes dice rolls to decide who starts the game. Bees is getting a buff. Now it will start at 1 damage, then rack up in damage. Gambler's Dream. Now you'll heal 2 HP or lose 2 HP, depending on your dice roll, instead of 1 HP. So if I was to roll some dice... Two sixes before would have only given me plus 5 HP, but now it'll give me plus 10 HP. Then spell mutation, now only your cards will be mutated. So if your opponent plays any spells onto your mutation, their spells will not be mutated. This now means you could vaccine and mutate and only your spells will be active. So you could put anything you want and they will be mutated. However, any spells they play onto your cards will not take effect because only your spells will be mutated. The three bears are now having its damage separated from its ability, but its ability is that the first attack will be half damage, too small. Second attack will be double damage, too big. And the third attack will be just right. This does mean now that, of course, you can probably use a shrink potion and everything will be just right. The tub is getting a complete rework. At the start or end of your turn, you can choose to remove one spell from deck or remove one debuff from a card, like poison, frozen, or possession. In this scenario, the Ice Witch could freeze one of my cards, and then at the start of my turn, I can choose to unfreeze that card. Similarly, the Robo Frog could hit me, and because they have the Poison Scope, I would have an extra Poison Damage that would be affected on their next go, but I could choose to remove that Poison Damage at the start or end of my go. Of course, it's still the tub, so if they played any spell, I could choose start at the end of my go to remove that spell, or any other spell that is on here. Now, removing debuffs also goes for possessions. If the King of Ghouls was to hit my card and possess it, then I can choose to remove that debuff to bring it back to me at the start of my go, so I can continue using my cards. Cemetery is getting a huge nerf. Now, after any attack kills any opposing cards, you can only choose one of them to join your team. So, in this scenario, the Minotaur, of course, would kill all of these cards in one attack, but the Cemetery now works so I can only choose one of those cards that just died to join my team. Now, of course, it is per attack, so if I had Cupid, and Cupid hit two of the cards, I can only choose one of them to keep, and then if the Minotaur killed another set of cards, I can only choose one of those to keep. Next up is Robo Crow, getting a full rework now, 5 HP and 4 damage, and this card can only be attacked when it has no teammates. Looking at this scenario, the Deputy Goblin is not allowed to attack the Robo Crow due to the fact that it has teammates, so the Deputy Goblin has to attack either the Robo Crow or the Jet Pig. Now, this can be changed with something like Puppet Master and Objector Seat, technically making it so Robo Crow has no teammates, therefore you can directly attack it. Of course, you can still indirectly attack it. Minotaur and Cupid can hit multiple cards. You can still play spells onto that card to attack it. The last change before the new cards are revealed is Casino's Choice, getting a complete revamp into Casino's Bet. New card, new design, new name. Now, Casino's Bet, you'll play on any card you like, and before rolling a dice, you'll predict what it's going to be. If you guess it correctly, you'll heal double what it rolled, and if it's one above or below, then you'll just heal that number. Looking at a game, you'll have to play it, then say out loud what you think it's going to be. For instance, I bet it's going to be a 6. Now, I've rolled a 6, therefore, I would heal 12, because it's double of what I bet. If we try again, and I say I bet a 4, and I roll a 5, it is 1 above a 4, therefore, I'm just going to heal the 5, and nothing else. Now, for the three new cards, extending the Greek mythology trio to a group of 6. The first of which, the god of medicine and healing, Asclepius. Asclepius, with 6 HP, 3 damage healing touch. On placement, heal all your teammates, plus 2 HP, and the bonus ability that you can choose to use your damaging attack to heal a card for however much damage it is. For instance, here, Asclepius does 3 damage, but I can use my attacking turn to hit the dice with my healing touch instead of damaging it, and it will heal 3 HP. This stacks. If I was to do kill pill on my Asclepius, giving it 20 damage, I can use my whole attack and go to deal the 20 damage as 20 healing points to my dice, giving it 26 HP. 
Asclepius is also able to heal themselves. This is also useful if they have Zombie Bite, where damaging heals them, but healing damages them. So you can choose to heal an opponent with Zombie Bite, which will end up damaging it. The healing on placement goes for however many teammates you have. So if I play it here, all of these cards will be healed. This includes any cards that are Puppet Mastered, because they are classes your teammate. Therefore, if I play it here, the Rusty Wizard would also be healed, and then would go back to them afterwards. The next card is the God of Thunder, Zeus. Zeus, having 8 HP and one of the coolest designs. 10 damage smite, but the ability gives you negative 1 damage to your attack for every opposing card on deck. In a 1 on 1, Zeus dealing 10 damage minus 1, because there's one card, will deal 9 damage, which is enough to immediately kill Medusa in one hit. Now, if it's Medusa, Cupid, and Minotaur, Zeus does 10, 9, 8, 7 damage to one card of its choice. So it'll deal 7 damage to any card, unless, of course, you're removing cards from deck, meaning it now does 9 damage, because this is off of deck, this is your teammate, there is only one opposing card on deck. And the last one is the Fearsome Beast, known for its ability, where if you cut off one head, two more will grow back. It's the Hydra. The Hydra. 7 HP, an insane design, 2 damage, Flaming Inferno, doesn't sound like a lot, but its ability. After taking any damage, double your HP and add 1 damage to your attack. After any damage, you take double your current HP and add 1 damage. Against poor Zippy here, if Zippy was to do the 3 damage, that would put the Hydra at 4 HP, but its ability means that it would double to 8 HP and add 1 damage. If Zippy was for some reason so stupid and attacked it again, the 8 HP would go down to 5 HP, and would then double to 10 HP, and also increase the damage. Now, what Zippy can do here is charge the attack, saving 3 damage, so the next time it attacks it does 6 damage, putting it on 1 HP, but that will double to 2 HP, and that means the next turn, Zippy can kill the Hydra. The Elemental Flytrap does 4 damage, which means if they were to hit the Hydra, it would go down to 3 HP, which would double to 6, which would take another 2 hits for the Flytrap to kill. Unless the Flytrap charges their attack, they would save the 4 damage for the next turn where they do 8 damage and could take it out in 2 hits instead of 3. Its ability is only if it takes damage. If you redirect it, or negate it, or block it, then it will not double HP. It is only after it takes damage and it lowers its HP will its HP then double. Due to its ability, small amounts of damage in multiple waves are not good ideas, unless you are the one playing it. You could play your own poison on your own Hydra and continuously be healing. Or, using Friendly Fire, deal a small amount of damage to your Hydra to make them double their HP. Now, the news about the 100th card coming to Nar. At the start of December, I will be releasing a Christmas update. And at the end of December, I will be releasing the 99th and 100th card to the game. For this event, I've comprised a list of 100 names. And on that list, only one of them is the true name of the 100th card. The name of the 99th card is not on that list. Here is the sheet. There will be a link below to where you can also view it. Now, there are some cards here that will be added later, but the 100th card is on this list of 100 names. And the person to correctly guess it will be rewarded handsomely. Happy hunting.